What's up, Internet? OC Rides here. We're out here at the OC Auto Show. I'm here at the Chevy booth right now. Behind me, we got the 2018, or sorry, 19 uh, Camaro. In front of me, we got the Red Devil and a Grand Sport and some people. So I'm going to be here all day, most of the day, exploring what's new, what's cool, and what's kind of ugly. So this right here, we have the Chevy Blazer. 2018. Uh, interesting. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Chevy Blazer 2019. Um, it has folding rear seats, yeah, kind of Camaro interior, very interesting. So what we have here guys, we have the 2019 Chevy Colorado ZR2, probably one of my favorite trucks on the market right now. It's got Formula One inspired, some kind of fancy dampeners and shit, I don't know, that's really cool. This is like straight Forza truck, <laughs> love it. Alright guys, so what we have here, probably my favorite car coming out this year, we got the Veloster N. Uh, I think 275 horsepower, somewhere similar in torque, manual front wheel drive. Love this color, love the way it looks. Colorize it, nope. This isn't the camera being underexposed. This is hail blue. Manual, free pedal, that's all that matters. This interior, pretty nice. Pretty nice car. I like it. Yes, P0s. Definitely, definitely gonna be looking out for this thing this year. Alright guys, so what we got here is the best car in Forza Horizon 4 for drifting. Uh, in game it sounds really amazing. In person, I don't know, I haven't driven it yet. Uh, I know the guys, shout out Driver Mod Podcast, they've driven it before. John and uh, I think Miguel drove it too. But those guys, check out their podcast uh, for their thoughts and reviews. Alright guys, we're here at the Audi stand. I don't know why I'm here, it's like being back at work. Got the new e-tron. This dude, uh, yeah, impressive. Very, very impressive. It's like Q5 sized. Here, here's some stuff. Yeah, cool. Um, I'll probably film these more and start getting them in the dealership. This is the Euro spec, so it has all these numbers and stuff on it, but yeah. Okay guys, so what we got here, new Q8. It's pretty funny on the way here this morning, uh, friend JPE Photo, uh, I'm gonna put his name here. He actually spotted one of these on the freeway. Uh, it, we've actually been seeing these around San Diego OC area for quite a bit now. Kind of cool to see one in person. It's like a slightly squished, Q5, the new SQ5 motor in it. Is that detuned, of course? Let's see the inside. Okay, that's a big surprise. Frameless doors or windowless, whatever this is called. What? That's a trip. Interior's pretty nice. Got the cool double screens from the A7 and the new A8. That's cool. Unpolarize that real quick. Got all this. This all pops on. Got the nav and all the media stuff down there. You got your climate control down here. Oh, huge sunroof. Very nice. So like the A7, this lift back design. Very, very big. On the back here. Uh, okay guys, so what Patrick just showed me, the 
front seat is set to my specifications because I'm 6'2". That's set for 6'2 me to be in the front. I still have leg room, I still have headroom, and what Patrick just showed me, this rear seat, it reclines and it scoots forwards and backwards thanks to handles here on the side and on the front. Q8, pretty hyped about it now. It's really spacious back here, I have plenty of headroom. All that stuff's really cool. Thanks Patrick from Audi of America. Um, really, really hyped on the Q8 now. Okay guys, what we have here, 2019 A8. It's got the cool OLED display matrix. I forgot what it's called. But, biggest part, coolest part, it's a little iPad thing. Um, I don't know if this one has it. Oh, no, this one doesn't have it. The exclusive package has it. It's a little iPad that you control. You control all the rear AC, media, everything. Control the seats. Um, yeah, it's got the cool double screen like the other cars do. A8, huge, huge boat right here. Very nice, panel roof. Thought I dropped something, but we're good. Well, we're about to wrap up here at the Audi booth. Behind me, we got the new A6. Um, big feature on the new A6, all new body. These really cool lights. Um, it's got the radars in the front. I think these are like started 70 or 60 something. This one's pretty heavily upgraded, so it's about 70. 2019 A6, it's got digital cockpit, it's got the cool double screens like the A8, A7, and the Q8. Um, and I believe the Q3 will get the same thing, but that, I don't think that's here today. No, that's not here today. Backseat, pretty similar to the other cars, digital. And how does Rumi use the other one? All right, guys, we got a V10 Plus Spider. And why is it doing that? So we got the V10 Plus Spider. Very cool in this matte white. What color is this? I don't know, it's exclusive color, but it is sweet. Red interior. It's like next level of cocaine spec. Carbon everything. Very, very nice spec. Um, I approve. Most of these come eh, spec, but this one, very nice. So what we got here, guys, we got the 2019 RS5 Sportback. Only thing that really competes with this is its own family, the Panamera. Um, carbon, everything. I love this green color. I think this is guava green. I don't know, I, forgot. I think this is java green. Like the normal RS5, it's got carbon everything. Cool uh, portalless windows, frameless windows on all the doors, like the Q8. Cool back seat, nice diamond stitch with green stitching. Very, very nice spec here. Um, love to see someone order it in this. If anyone orders this car in this spec, I'll give you a free shoot. Um, just to remind me, because. Wow, I really, really love this one. This is very nice. Exclusive to the Sportback design, we got the massive rear cargo area. You could fit four or five children, about three dogs, or many, many golf clubs. Plot twist, I'll be shooting, I think I'm gonna be shooting one of these later today. I'm gonna be shooting my friend John's 570S Spider. Oh, that RS5 is amazing. Um, but it wouldn't be a OC Auto Show without Dan the Man, one of his cars. It was pretty funny. We saw this car in Monterey this year. <laughs> uh, it's nice to see the Jockin again. Uh, of course, we got the Urus, got the Perf Spider, and ooh, nice Aventador S and SV. Okay, guys, we're here at the Ferrari booth right now. Not much is new. Oh my god, is that a Visigato? Alright, guys, this is definitely, definitely. Highlight, we got a Zagato Coupe, I mean, Spider. Can't talk right now, so overwhelmed. New Vantage looks amazing as always. Typical Aston Martin, but Zagato Spider. Freaking amazing. Love it, love it, love it. This is a very good spec. Really, really good spec right now. 
red with the gold accents. Gotta love it. All right, guys, what we got here, we have a Volvo V90 wagon. Very, very cool. Can't wait to start seeing these. Be cool to see one of these slammed on Rotiform normal stance, bro. That'd be rad. That'd be really, really sick. Also, new XC90, XC40. Big fan of the new Volvo lineup. Um, yeah. All right, guys, what we got here, new Golf GTI, or sorry, Golf R. Um, I mean, it's pretty much the old Golf R, but with new body and cool digital dash like an Audi. Ooh, this one's manual. Really, really want, this is a very good spec. Got a new GTI and one of the new cool colors, I think. Then we just got a 17, or sorry, no, this is the current one. It's got the cool piece things. Yeah. All right, guys, now walking over BMW stand, got the M6 in a very, very interesting spec. Really like this color. Really like that color. Like that, ooh, that's very nice, too. Uh, it's got carbon ceramics on it. I used to tell by the yellow caliper. Signature BMW thing. Really good spec. Really, someone buy this color. Someone please buy that. Or buy this. This is the official da uh, car for rich dads who still like to go fast and dust racers. Boom. Sex, 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 sex. Love it. Love it. Love this color. Color's pretty interesting. But best part about this car, the wheels. They're almost like HRE P101s, which are my favorite wheels. Really, really love these. This one's fully optioned out, it looks like. Carbon ceramics, I believe, in the front. Nope, just steels. But, oh, uh, it's auto. Still, very nice car. Really love this frozen, frozen blue color on this new BMW M3 CS. So, very similar in interior to the normal cars. Got these cool CS placards on them. Very nice seats, really like it. Carbon, I think they're carbon buckets, maybe. Not too sure. BMW fanboy sound off. Look at guys, this is paint, not a wrap. As it is in everything. Really nice seat, it's got lots of ass cooling vents, carbon roof, real carbon, you know that fake stuff. Ultimate driving machine, can't fake it, I love these wheels. All right guys, shout out Motor Chen, we got the best driver's car lineup. Uh, GT2 RS, very, very nice. This is like car week spec for me. It's just, just an epic spec on this GT2 RS. Love the carbon with the green. If you got a GT2 RS, can't get boring colors. You gotta get something sweet. Got another 720 over there. Stelvio Quadripoligio. And, oh look, it's this guy. We've been seeing these for a while in my neighborhood. But yeah, Quadrifolio 720. Might drive one of these soon, I'll let you know. But Stelvio Quadrifolio, I take this over a lot of cars. Take this over the uh, Maserati Levante Trofeo, world's longest name. But yeah. All right, we got the Porsche booth. Of course, gotta stop by Porsche. Favorite brand right now. Porsche always killing it. Next level stuff. 911S. Carrera T. Ooh, ooh, very good spec here. We got yellow accents. Manual, of course. I think these only come in manual. Love, love, much love for the Carrera T. Got these cool pull handles for the doors. Favorite part about this car, door handles. Wow, this is a really good spec. I think I'd probably, if I were to buy it, I'm gonna get in like this, the yellow and the blue. Thumbs up. Swag. Now what we have here is an unmodified GTR. The rarest of the rare. Very rare, unmodified. What we got here is the Civic Type R. I mean, if you want front wheel drive, affordable, a little affordable with no gear lever apparently. 
Um, Civic Type R, front wheel drive. Pretty practical. Family hot hatch with a massive wing. If you want to be the cool dad but still be practical and rip it with your friends, car for you. Okay guys, looks like we're somehow returned back to car week. We got a Veyron, Wyra Roadster, uh, 720 TDF. Yes, yes, fanboy. Got the muscle truck, we got the General Mayhem, got, I think this is Impala from the Mighty Mods Hot Rod episode. Still smells like how it should. And <laughs> we got the vet cart. Nice. Probably more stoked about this than the hypercars. That's, that's, I mean, you can see the supercharged Hemi underneath. Uh, very, very cool. What we have here, guys, 2018 Shelby Super Snake by Shelby of America. It's got some big brake kit. Uh, unsure what's done to this, but it looks really cool. They, do, uh, they put a supercharger in it, and it oh. gets it up to 800 horsepower. That's plenty of horsepower to kill yourself. For the um, 2018, there's oh. actually only around 60 of them that's going to be made. It's a lot more rare than the other years. Like next year, we're definitely going to have more than that. I think it's like 150, but... Cool. Um, you heard it from the man yourself. Um, very good. A lot of people don't like these 2018 looks. I personally like them, especially in this blue color with the stripes. Very, very nice. Of course. Got the, the man shift, the manual transmission. Got three pedals. If you don't get a Mustang and three pedals, you probably have a rental car. Um, that's cool. That changes colors. Got to polarize that for you there. Very, very nice. Can't wait to start seeing more of these custom editions like the people from Shelby of America have done. Hello. Really, really lovely spec. It's quite hot down here. This, uh, this thing is probably creating all the heat down here. This is a very hot car. Cool, thank you Shelby of America. Sweet. All right, the viewers, so what we have here is pretty much a budget 918. It's a twin turbo V6, not a dual clutch, but it is a very quick automatic with a power uh, hybrid system, all wheel drive, pretty interesting red leather, very good spec on this one. Um, this is 2019, it has some new features. Uh, I can't tell the difference, but there's probably something new on here that I don't know. Uh, chrome wheels, not a really big fan, but it does have a damn cool door handle that I, oh, it's not open, that's why. But the interior is pretty nice. It's got the cool drive mode, changey thing. Um, pretty good spec. Hopefully we can see more of these things now that they updated them a bit. Uh, so I think that's gonna wrap up my coverage of the OC Auto Show 2018. It's very hot in here. I wore a big heavy jacket. I'm kind of sweaty right now. But, um, I'm probably just gonna walk around and see if I missed anything. I'm gonna go look at that new Camaro. Don't really like the look of it. It's kind of ugly, but um, yeah. All right, guys, wrapping it up here. OC Auto Show 2019. Got the new Camaro SS convertible. Mm, it's starting to grow on me. It's not as ugly as I first thought. This one, at least, hey, it's got a manual. Shout out Chevy. New hood scoop thingy. Front on, not that bad. Kind of looks like a weird transformer. I think it's the same design language as this dude, but I mean, it's not that bad in person. It's really, I think it's going to be like 2018 Mustang where it just kind of grows on you. Uh, not bad starting price, what is this, it's probably the same LT1. Um, yeah, but from OC Auto Show, this is going to be it for me. Like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think. My videos suck, let me know. There's ZR1, goodbye.